Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Zdravo, 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 Maria. Praise be to Jesus Christ, now and forever. My dear brothers and sisters, we are already at the Lourdes Grotto here in Bratislava, and I'm inviting you to think about five important things that every Catholic Christian should know about the Holy Rosary. I will perhaps begin uh, with something that would be more of a humorous nature, but we'll try to say it with the poker face. First, the most important thing about the Rosary is the material that it is made of. The most effective prayer of the Rosary is with the one made of stones, then wood, then crystal, then plastic, and then paper. From among the places where to pray the Holy Rosary, the most important one is Fatima, Lourdes, Medjugorje, Guadalupe, and here in Slovakia, Shashti. Of course, presenting the Holy Rosary would be completely stupid and crazy to do it like this. Anywhere we pray is just perfectly fine. Of course, when we prayed in the church or in the chapel or in our homes or in the places like this, these are the most important ones. And to kind of finish on that humorous note, some time ago I heard about, heard of grandma who was explaining to her grandson to be more attentive when he prays the Holy Rosary that on every bead there is one angel who is sitting on it. So that's why he needs to be so attentive. And this grandson, he was looking at the rosary beads. And then he said, my dear angels, hold on tight. All right, so enough of the goofy humor. These are the five things we should remember about the Holy Rosary. Number one is the name Rosary. Name Rosary comes from Latin Rosarium, which means the Garden of Roses or the Wreath of Roses. And both mean one and the same. With each Hail Mary, we are bringing to Jesus. We are bringing to Mary one spiritual or more spiritual roses. That is our act of love, act of thanksgiving, act of reparation, act of petitioning for others or even for ourselves. The second important thing about the Holy Rosary is the origins of the Holy Rosary. The origins of the Holy Rosary are in the scripture. I'm quite positive that uh, we may have heard that uh, the ancient monks used to pray 150 psalms. That's how many psalms are in the Old Testament. But among the monks were also some illiterate ones. So they were permitted to pray 150 Our Fathers instead of the 150 psalms. Later, uh, one of the medieval saints, Saint Dominic, he reorganized this prayer, divided it in pieces of 10. That's where we have the word a decade and attached to each decade that started with Our Father, then 10 Hail Marys and Glory Be, he attached one mystery, which means a story from Jesus's life, something from Jesus's childhood or something from Jesus's passion or something from Jesus's glory. And Saint Pope John Paul II added the luminous mysteries, the mysteries of light in which we ponder Jesus's public life from his baptism until the Last Supper. Third important thing about the Holy Rosary that it is a prayer to God. Even though as a Catholic Christians we say we pray to Mary, but when we say that we mean we pray to God with Mary. We certainly can pray to God without Mary. 
but we can also pray with Mary and with other brothers and sisters here on earth as well the ones who are already in heavenly glory and when we do so we know that Mary's prayer is pure and perfect while ours is not always pure and is not always perfect we pray with Mary to God thought number four in the Holy Rosary there is a lot of repetition and sometimes we may wonder is it right to repeat uh, sometimes perhaps even the scripture passage do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many uh, babblings many words the purpose of the repetitive Hail Marys is to create a certain spiritual rhythm like in the music there are certain instruments like drums who create a rhythm and that rhythm is supporting the melody the story that the singer or the band wants to present to the audience so the melody or the words the theme is the story in Jesus's life but the Hail Marys are creating the rhythm as Mary was present in Jesus's life as his mother for so many years and then as his most faithful disciple in his final years of his earthly life and the final thought is when shall we pray and where and perhaps even how much so when we can pray anytime perhaps the only exception being the celebration of the holy mass during the holy mass we really should focus on the sacrifice of Jesus on the unbloody sacrifice that he is offering for us yes those times when the holy mass is were in Latin and people had no clue uh, well, they had a clue, but they did not understand how to immerse themselves in the uh, mystical prayer of the Holy Mass. So what they did, they were praying the Holy Rosary. But now, in most of the Holy Masses, we do understand or can follow with various prayer books or missalettes. So we can pray anytime, any place, and how often, if possible, we can pray daily. If we can't pray the entire five decades or more, let's keep at least one decade. <coughs> there was a beautiful saying, a decade a day keeps the devil away. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we pray in the month of October, the Holy Rosary, or November, or December, or January, or any month, we honor God, we pray to Jesus with Mary. So let's conclude this small reflection with one Hail Mary and blessing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit through the intercession of our Heavenly Mother Mary. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.